it was a stellar sight. Something, something was caught streaking across the sky late last night. And tonight, a lot of people still talking about it. Yeah, everyone's asking, what was that bright flash in the sky? We sent Dennis Welch to ASU to find out. And right now we're at the ASU Center for Meteorite Studies, and you're not going to be shocked to learn that last night's bright flash was created by a meteorite. But you might be surprised to learn that it was created by one about the size of this. We see it getting brighter and brighter and brighter over the course of a second or two. Then there's a big flash. ASU's Lawrence Garvey confirming that flash in the sky wasn't made by a random piece of space junk. And people that were close enough to the event also heard it. This thing is traveling faster than the speed of sound, so you hear the sonic boom. There's nothing unusual about a meteorite hitting the Earth. Garvey estimates about 10 to 15 crash into the ground every single day. But he did point out that last night's event was rare. What was so unusual about yesterday's event, it was seen near a large metropolitan area, so lots of people saw it. And it was a relatively big event. Here's Garvey explaining why this shooting star looked more like an explosion. As this thing is coming into the atmosphere, getting deeper and deeper into the atmosphere, the pressure is getting higher, the, the, the temperature around it is getting more ferocious, more fierce. The, as the pressure gets higher, the sample can't stay together. It breaks apart, and that's that big terminal flash that you see. Now comes the hard part, finding what's left of the meteor, so they can add it to this extensive collection of space rocks. And just in case you were wondering, there were about 100 reports to the American Meteor Society last night. At ASU, I'm Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.